Good day everyone, uh, this is Nigon here from the IRA FX forums and I'm going to go ahead and do this by popular demand how to solder to uh, batteries directly tutorial. Uh, this is the next part of my soldering series which I'm finally getting around to doing. Um, so the test, sub the test uh, subjects or what we're going to be doing today are soldering uh, leads off of these two batteries. These are actually AW uh, IMR 18500s, they're going into a special project. Uh, but this would work just as well with the 18650s uh, or in, you know, with the AWs or the Keep Powers, which are the, my two favorite brands nowadays. And, okay, so the first thing you want to do is get your, uh, I've got a sponge, unfortunately, not the brass, but if you have a sponge, get it wet. If you have your brass and you're ready to go, uh, you know, get the, si the soldering iron on. And whoops, get it up to. Uh, I turned it up to 400 Celsius for uh, this. Uh, basically, uh, when I'm doing these batteries, I normally leave it at 350 for every other type of onboard soldering I do. Okay, so while the soldering iron is heating up, um, I take this 80 grit uh, sandpaper. I always have this like little pieces of sandpaper after I've used you know the big pieces for projects. I just rip it, rip up the small pieces and leave them around here for this kind of stuff. So you just want to sand, um, you know, both ends that you're going to solder. So let's sand, get this positive side. So this is a button cell. The button actually does stick out, so it's a little easier to sand. But we want to just get this rough. Um, when it's really shiny and smooth, the solder doesn't want to stick well. So we want to get that pretty rough until we get it like cross hatch it. So solder, sand that way, twist it 90 degrees, sand this way. I found that's pretty much the best way to really get it rough. Don't worry too much about you know, over sanding or in sanding, you know, sanding on this pink or whatever color your battery is. Don't worry about that too much. Okay, so that's good. So let's solder this side. I mean, sand this side. Excuse me. We just want to get this rough. So let's cross hatch it. Yeah, that looks really good. Okay, so by this time your soldering iron should definitely be heated. It is. Uh, now I'm going to turn on my fan because I um, I really get affected respiratory wise by breathing the solder and breathing aluminum dust. So I have to protect myself. So I have one of these charcoal fans that you know keeps the fumes out of my face. Get that on. Um, now just take your solder. We want to pre-tin this. So basically, we want to just get this hot and then apply the solder to it while it's hot and spread the solder around. Another thing that helps is this flux paste. You can just get a big jar of this, it'll pretty much last you a lifetime of doing sabers. Um, you can dip the end of the solder in that just a, just a tiny bit. Um, smear that before you start soldering. That helps the solder spread onto this surface. Okay, so my flux paste is spread. I got my solder ready. Uh, so now I'm ready to just take my iron and apply it. So uh, the one thing on this end, because it, uh, if you if you get this hot thing on this uh, sheet here, it'll melt away. So try to keep it out at an angle so that only a little bit of the tip is actually touching here. Don't get too low or that'll melt. So just keep it at an angle. Get it warm. I sort of just rest it on my hand and start applying the solder and now that's already starting to sp spread. Uh, solder is your friend here. You can use a ton. The more you have, sort of the better area you'll be able to put the wire to when you just go to put the wire on. So now I got a lot on there. Uh, you can, I don't know how well you can see this, but it's sort of glumped up. So then I, I just sort of spread it around a little. That's where the flux paste helps, just kind of drag it. And then there we go, have a nice area there that's soldered. Doesn't have to be pretty. Alright, so let's do this other side. It's going to be the same technique. Get a tiny bit of flux paste on here. Hope you can see this. Just, just a tiny dab. Spread it here on your battery. Um, don't be like me, you should probably actually 
uh, holster this, but then once that's spread on there, just you know, get this warm and just apply a bunch. And then once it's on there, spread this around. That's a that one's nice. That's a nice spread there. Nice and even. Very good. Okay, once we have it pre tin then we can turn this down. I still leave it a uh, more like I gotta turn the fan off so you can hear better. Uh, so now once we have those two pre-soldered, we can uh, turn this down to 375. Uh, and once that's down at 375, uh, then what I do is uh, get ready to put my wire on. So just let's get a piece of wire ready. And I just have a bunch of wire I have laying around, get it stripped. Okay, turn my fan back on. Now we're just going to pre tin the wire a tiny bit. This wire doesn't pre tin that well, but just pre tin it the best you can. Okay, and then, you know, same thing, just get this a little hot with the wire on there. And then it, the solder that's on there will pretty much melt to it. And now in this case, like there's a little less solder there, so we can go ahead and also apply a little more solder to it. So the solder actually uh, flows around the wire. So you want the wire to be covered with solder. That will make it have a better adhesion. There you go. And that's pretty much it. That's stuck on there now. Now we can do the same thing with our negative. Okay, just strip it. For this, I give it a lot of length because I'll be putting some heat shrink or tape or something over this at the end. Go ahead and put our solder, pre tin this. Now let's heat this up. Remember, keep an angle when you're on the back side here so you don't melt too much. I see I already did melt that a tiny bit. That's okay, but just be careful there. All right, and then just heat this up and the solder, there it'll flow. And same thing, we can add just a tiny bit more solder uh, to completely cover it so that we're don't have to worry about this coming off. That's it. So you know when you're done, when you know it's completely covered in solder and uh, it's got a good connection. Uh, now you can pretty much just trim these wires down to the length you want. You know, twist them up. You know, heat shrink this, or at least some kind of tape on the two ends, or electric uh, liquid tape, which I ran out of. I need to get some more of that the liquid electrical tape. <clears throat> but yeah, that uh, that pretty much does it. It's not. It's really not too hard. You just, you know, be careful with your iron. You know, go on, get the solder on, uh, and make sure it, you sanded it well because the, the solder will not stick. And also, again, I recommend the flux. A little bit of flux really does help there. And this is, I got this at Radio Shack, actually. All right, hope that helps, everyone. I'll uh, see you in the forums.